yeah. Pie. Yeah. We are ready now, yeah, we are ready, yo. Check your time, table, lunch time, ready, yo. I seen a jambari, the lunch time, rock on my friend, I'm gonna sit foot, I seen that toa coca, eh, yeah. Takumbo spoke on any manzi, I'm a boy, I'm a panny mari, no cap on my fans, yeah. Ah, my face name, my baby, and I'm my nana baba, yeah, I'm gonna happy, happy. Hey, what up, everybody? It's your boy T Guns. It's lunchtime radio, and right now you're listening to Chambari, the lunchtime rocker on Power FM. This is Center Stage with the latest and the hottest issues with Chambari, brought to you by NMB Bank. NMB Bank, in pursuit of excellence. <laughs> Come on, bless him and bless him and bless him and bless him. Makana kajeso, ta 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 ta. Makana kajeso, simuta. Hallelujah! 
right now. minutes past two o'clock is our time right now and welcome to another exciting episode of uh, Center Stage. It comes through every Tuesday between 2 and 3 p.m. and each week we make sure that we get a popular guest into the studio, get to sit down with them and um, get to chop it up and get to talk about them, get to them to open up about themselves and get you to know more about them and what's going on in their lives and in their work. So this week we have Minister Michael Mahendit and I have to say I have been trying to get this man in the studio for a very very long time and we got him in the studio today so if you've been watching on the Facebook page it's been very interesting and uh, I, I, I felt I felt left out because I'm trying to sort out everything <laughs> and Minister got up and he started dancing I'm like wait Minister 
Peter. So I can also get up and dance, but I, I'm going I'm to try and do that later on. This is brought to us by NMB Bank. And uh, did you know that with NMB Connect, you can pay your bills instantly to registered billers without moving an inch? Simply select bill payments, then pick up your service, pick your service provider in the categories of utility, insurance, telecommunication, fuel, hospital, airlines, retail, and real estate, just to name a few. Go ahead and pay your bills today on Star 241 Hash, NMB Connect app, or NMB Connect online. You get a digitally stamped receipt every time you transact. NMB Connect, your digital bill back. So good afternoon, Minister, and welcome to Centre Stage. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. I love your energy. You know, for, for someone who's a minister, like we were p- probably thinking, to, you know, he's like very serious and yeah. chilled vibes. But you got up <laughs> and then you, you what's that, that? You were dabbing. You were doing a lot of dances there. Yeah, it depends with the mood. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, there's every reason to be happy, mm-hmm. to be excited. Uh, you can't be stressed every time you know? no you can't yeah you can't re- give room to that so you create an environment that you want all right so when it comes to dealing with pressures and stress mm-hmm. um everyone has a coping me- mechanism what's the timeline that you give yourself could you beyond this i cannot allow this stress or this pressure to go beyond hours days what is it um i'm, I'm actually a bit complicated um it's an area that i've really looked into mm-hmm. uh, where i i don't want to waste time uh, dealing with things that I cannot solve at that time. Ooh. So I've learned to shelve things. Mm-hmm. Um, what I can solve, I solve. What I cannot so- solve, I ignore. <laughs> you know, and mm-hmm. I continue as me because mm-hmm. I don't want to develop sickness uh, and I become another problem. Mm-hmm. So most people, they they entertain things that they cannot solve. Uh-huh. And they also uh, then create problems that they cannot solve. Uh-huh. So I would rather keep me when that thing is ready to be solved it would solve itself all right yeah that's that's how it is i like that i like i like i like your 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 way of uh, of dealing with stress and frustrations and problems mm. and would you say are you a happy person are you a cheerful person are you an extrovert are you an introvert what kind of a person are you i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i think um i'm 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 relaxed you know i i don't panic mm-hmm. um i'm also principled and uh, I, I think I, I'm a straightforward person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, you tell it as it is. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. And in some moments where you don't, you, you just say, okay, let me leave it for now. Yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not the right I, time. I, I, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's not necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At what point did you discover that you could sing? At what age? Okay, I'm born in a family of seven. Mm-hmm. Four boys, four guys actually, and three ladies. You always be boys when you're boys. You're boys. Yeah. You know? And. Um, <laughs> So back then, we used to, before we got to sleep, uh, my parents would always call us together. Mm-hmm. And uh, before we pray, we would always sing. They would always lead a song. My dad would always lead a song and my mom. And then we all join in and we are all singing. And the, the sound that you'd hear in that singing from, I think, uh, when I was five, it was so organized. Uh, so that's when I discovered that I am part of a f- musical family. Mm-hmm. You know, my brother Amos, Akim, Mishek, and my sisters, all of us, we, uh, we, we sing. Really? Yeah, we sing. So okay. that's when I discovered that even though I don't want to be part of this family, but I'm already part of this family, <laughs> where music is an inborn thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when, when you would sing uh, before, the, before going to bed, these prayer meetings that you'd have, family mm. meetings that you'd have, mm. um, at what point what did the idea to become a group the Mahindra brothers come up i would say my my father is the one who bought us an acoustic guitar and um my Hindred brothers was amos my elder brother's mm-hmm. vision that's why he was ahead and he was the one who was leading that group all the success that we had uh all the victories that we had it was because of amos mm-hmm. and um he's the one who had to put us together he started writing songs and would uh, then discover what we are also able to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother Mishek, I would say, is the most gifted person in our family. Really? Yeah. In in what way do you say he's gifted? He sings better than anyone. He plays anything. Uh huh. Yeah. He's a music producer right now in South Africa. So he would. Um, he, he then started giving more flesh to what we wanted to do, mm-hmm. and uh, that's how I discovered myself. So in my brother's setup, I I was at the making of music side mm-hmm. and i was a drummer as well so i was at the background background okay yeah. and uh out of the group mm-hmm. how many were you in the group 
We were four. We you were four, four brothers. Yeah. And were you the youngest of the four brothers? I'm the youngest of the four brothers. All right. Yeah. And as creatively, the older ones get to 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 to, to have their opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was it like? Were you able to voice your opinion? Did they listen to you or be like, "Mfana gani boite is chatu gite is"? What was it like being the band? Uh, I think sometimes when itu gashike papo. We are not brothers. Uh-huh. Yeah, there, were, there was a lot of, you know... Arguing. Everyone, yeah, arguing, you know. <laughs> no, let's do this. No, let's do this. Let's <laughs> do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the, at the end of uh, it all, would bring something nice. Yeah. Psalms 23 was the biggest Mahindra brother hit, brothers sure. hit. Sure, And uh, Nema Baj, it became a thing. It means Magwakoma Nema Baj. Yes. And this song was the up-tempo, upbeat vibes that we then got to expect from the Mahindra brothers. Mm-hmm. But later on in life, you took a different route where you turned to worship music mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you became chilled vibes, mm-hmm. which is why I was asking, what kind of a person are you? Because mm-hmm. you would sound like the guy who, who thrives more in worship music than in praise music. Mm-hmm. Is that the kind of direction that if the band had continued on, you would have also tried to steer the band to go? Yeah, um, like when I was at the background, mm-hmm. I then discovered, um, okay, with my elder brothers, we used to do the more f- evangelistic music where we are talking about um, people coming to Jesus. And it was all uh, in the line of praise, in the line of joy. Mm-hmm. But uh, personally, now, discovering myself, uh, at church, uh, I used to be in AFM mm-hmm. then. Uh, those who know me back then, they knew that I was more of a worshiper at church, mm-hmm. and I never really exposed that to anyone. Mm-hmm. I would just sing in church, uh, dealing with a choir. That's when I learned to deal with the choir. I was a choir director mm-hmm. uh, for years, and um, you know, and stuff like that. So, when the time came for me to come out with that line of music, mm-hmm. uh, people would think um, it's something that just happened. No, I went through the process. Uh, of Daga Wanda song, but working on myself. Right. You know, yeah, that's okay. what happened. So just take you back uh, to the Mindre Brothers real quickly. Um, why did you disband? Okay. Time happens. Uh-huh. You know, time comes to define things mm-hmm. and even to change things. Um, when we started, remember, Mindre Brothers, we used to stay at the same place, same house, mm-hmm. right? And then my brothers grew up, they matured, they got married, mm-hmm. they moved out. Mm-hmm. I was left with Mishek and he grew up, he married, he got married, he moved out and I was left alone. Then later on, I got married and I moved out. Nini, what? Everybody's got a busy schedule and you're like, Nini. They're like, I hey, well, we've got our schedules. So it was you left behind yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. So uh-huh. I also grew up, I got married and so when, when things like that happen, Mm-hmm. everything the whole setup changes you know mm-hmm. uh, this person is now concentrating with this family and this one is concentrating not to say we are we have a very bad blood no 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 we are buddies mm-hmm. you're brothers we are brothers we are buddies for life wow we are just the four of us so is there and any possibility that we will ever get a reunion song or album if it's not pushing it I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm working on um, doing a live uh, show mm-hmm. or a live recording mm-hmm. where we are having everyone, you know, uh, on that setup. Mm-hmm. But I also did a song with Amos, mm-hmm. the one is, which is called Daverenga mm-hmm. on Getting Personal Goal 3. Mm-hmm. It's a song that did well um, t- from 2017 and all. So um, I'm, I'm working on that, that right. we, we do something, maybe one one song or so. One, one, yeah. one, one will do the things. Yeah, sure. <laughs> It'll get us through. Yeah. Um, what was your experience like? Because after you left Mahindra Brothers, mm-hmm. we then found saw you in Pax Afro. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that experience like? Because you've come from a family group mm-hmm. where we can say, as a younger brother, you were probably sheltered. Mm-hmm. Now you are coming up in this group and you are getting to be seen and heard a lot more. You're in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. What was that experience like? Yeah, that, that experience, I, I actually thank God for it. Mm-hmm. Um, where I think my experience was more like Moses-like. Moses experience where um, he him being a deliverer someone who's supposed to deliver the children of Israel from Egypt to to the promised land Mm -hmm. but um, he was uh, kept or he was trained 
uh, by someone he was going to fight against. Mm -hmm. uh, not to say I'm, I'm supposed to fight against, but I'm saying I got to learn a lot when I was in Pax Afro, mm -hmm. more than I had learned when I was in Minded Brothers. Because I got to connect with uh, people like one of my music mentor, Isaac Chirwa. He's amazing. He's amazing, that He's man. Amazing. Wherever I go, I talk about him. Uh -huh. I also was with, um, what do you call this man? Um, Gideon Zamimba is uh -huh. also one of my music mentors. Mm -hmm. So that setup made me to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel what I'm doing right now, if I had not gone through that process, mm -hmm. I don't think I would be polished like I am. Mm -hmm. So it was just uh, that part of life where you are exposed to... Do you know that I once played with Dino Mdondo? Really? Yeah. How? I Wait. once played with uh, Andy Brown. Uh-huh. I once played with... You were part with, of the uh, band? Yeah. What, I once played with um, and then um, no 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 Oliver I, I only uh, with the great late, late Oliver, Oliver I only played once okay um, but you were part of Dinom Dondo's band you were part of Andy Brown's band yeah I, I was a session sorry I was a session artist You're right there's also this guy uh, who is the son who is singing these days. He used Willem to Tite Willem Tite yes yeah with Willem Tite I was actually his band member. Uh, Wow. So imagine I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm Vangeri and uh, my parents didn't know about that. I would <laughs> this was a sneak secret. <laughs> and I would go. That's the only time I had an experience in the nightclub or something because eh. I'd never been there. But I ended up my guitar because I wanted to polish myself. Ah, but minister, I'm not some bossy for something. Never in my life. I'm telling you. I'm I'm telling you. Uh huh. Yeah. It's okay. Like sins can be forgiven. You can admit if you did. No, I didn't. You didn't ever. I, I don't even know the taste of alcohol. No. What about cigarettes? Never. Wow. Yeah, never. No. And the, the people uh, that you were around, I mean, they they used to enjoy life, and you'd see this. And is did you? I'm not saying they did it, but yeah. I'm saying the people that would come mm. and enjoy life at mm. the bands and mm. so forth. You saw certain behavior, sort mm -hmm. of set certain trends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you? How did that help shape your character of mm -hmm. the kind of musician that you want to be? I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God that um, I got to see it. You know, mm -hmm. there are things that are termed as enjoying, and mm -hmm. yet you will see that people are wasting time. Mm -hmm. There are things that are termed as um, enjoying life, and yet people are destroying their lives. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got to see um, some levels, you know, in life where you see this person, whatever he is valuing, it's not something that will build that person. Mm -hmm. So I interacted with them. Um, um, what I would just go do, I would just do music. After that, I leave and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I, I, I'm grateful that um, I've learned a lot that what you want to be in life, you have to work for it. Okay. Yeah. So after the group disbanded, uh, we didn't hear much about you till you emerged as a pastor at UFIC. What were you doing in this time? Is this the time that you're saying that you were focusing on... on, 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 on where you were working with the choirs, you were working uh, behind the scenes, trying to discover the kind of person you were, you wanted to be. Okay, so when Pax Afro closed, mm -hmm. I think that was my defining moment. Mm -hmm. That was that was the time I went into hiding. I got into uh, a serious prayer life. Um, I was mainly alone. I believe that was the time when minister was birthed. I didn't have friends. I would just be in prayer or I'm doing something and I'm in prayer. I was so lonely. And that is the time when most of the songs that you're hearing now mm -hmm. were birthed. Such as? That was the time. And it's playing in the background. Let me just play it real quickly. Now, if you're going to ask me of my favorite Minister Michael Mahendri's song. I've got two, Kudzai Mwari and Hallelujah. Those two songs are my favorite songs. I'm happy to hear that you wrote this in during the during the period where you were trying to discover yourself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or self-discovery. Yes, yes. So you spent a lot of time in solitude. You spent a lot of time in prayer, worship, yeah, meditation. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, until the right time came. Um, also, um, in 20... 2003, mm -hmm. that's when I met with my spiritual father, Prophet Emmanuel Makandi. Mm -hmm. And he gave me one principle, one word that really changed my life. Which is? He said, Sir, I see something cooking. There's something in the inside of you. But don't quickly come out of your eggshell before mm -hmm. your time. Mm -hmm. Stay in there. Don't quickly 
come out and you want to be known that I do this. No, relax. In your eggshell. Grow in your eggshell. When your growth cracks and breaks the eggshell, mm-hmm. you are strong enough to face any criticism. Don't quickly come out of your eggshell before your time because you'll be scorched by criticism, you'll be scorched by the sun and you die before your time. Yes, and you'll yeah. quit. Yeah, you'll quit. So I kept those words and I believe that was the season that I was in. I was just in that hiding until Makanaka Jeso. And that song was... Big! Great! It was massive! 2016, the only song, 2017. The only song that was in charts for a full year. Wow. I'm telling you. For a full year, the song was in gospel charts. All right, so let's talk about that. Um, You're working with choirs. Yeah. Then, UFIC. You, I always get it wrong. UFIC. UFIC yes. choir. Yes. Right. UFIC, because I thought it was UFIC choir. <laughs> UFIC choir mm-hmm. was birth. Mm-hmm. This is a choir with so many members, including band members. Mm-hmm. How mm-hmm. many are they? Uh, we are a thousand. <gasps> a thousand members. <laughs> Then if you bring everyone uh, from different branches, then uh, we are we are talking of uh, I don't know. Um, How part, do you manage? I'm part of the leadership. Uh, uh-huh. We are headed by uh, Psalmist Jubesi, and we have worshiper Larry Gunda as well. We have Pastor Alex Gunda as well, and I'm part of the the, the, the team. So we have just delegated um, duties. Uh, you deal with this. You deal with this. You deal with this, and it's been amazing. Uh, we, I think God gave us the capacity to to work it out but yeah. working with talents can be taxing you've done it you worked mm-hmm. with your brothers you worked in Pax Afro Egos mm-hmm. Pax mm-hmm. Afro Egos and so forth you've seen it in the industry mm-hmm. how do you manage 1000 artists vocalists how do you arrange them mm-hmm. where to stand mm-hmm. Hit the high notes, learn the lyrics how do you manage this yeah it's, like i said it's been a process for me i've done it before like when I was in AFM, I was mm. dealing, of course, it was Smaller 50, numbers. 50 people. Yes. yes. But that then taught me how to, even if you are singing Takawanda, I can tell you that there's, mm-hmm. a, there's an ear that has, I have developed. Yes. Where I deal with voices. Uh-huh. And I can tell that. It's coming part, from this so, part. Yeah. It's coming from this part and all. And it's been a process though. And uh, I think I've matured in that. 27 years actively in music. Which brings me to my next question. How mm. old are you? Why? <laughs> it's everywhere, you know. 27. May I enter a pen and paper? Okay. 27. Minus you don't need two. to calculate. Let me tell you. <laughs> minus. <laughs> this, this year, I celebrated my 38th birthday. Yeah. Mm. Wow. This year, yeah. That's amazing. That's really amazing. You've been there for a very long time. Who writes the songs for UFIC Choir? We all do. Like the pastors that I spoke about, mm-hmm. yes, we, we we write songs and we and there are all the other songwriters as well in the in the group. Mm-hmm. Yes, is this choir exclusive only to UFIC, or do you also perform at other churches or events? We 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 perform at other churches and events. Mm-hmm. We've been everywhere, um, but of course we are a church choir. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So uh, you're a church choir, but mm. do you also perform like a commercial church choir? Do you get payments for going to perform at churches? Definitely, it's a business. Ah, <laughs> no, we 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 can't we can't even discuss about that. Yes, yeah, but it's a business. It must be understood that there is industry. Yes, there is business. Uh-huh. There is ministry. Yeah, it's... so everything feeds into the other. Mm-hmm. There is music industry in Zimbabwe, mm-hmm. which we have to be business minded so that we continuously feed the industry. industry. Okay. Yeah, and there is the ministry, which gives birth to the ministers okay so don't try to lie to people that there is no in the business aspect of it uh-huh. Me, i'm not going to be lying to people that i don't want money mm-hmm. I, I can't do that it's, mm-hmm. it's not possible how will i produce the next project how? if i don't have money yes yeah so we need money we we do it for money we do it for god mm-hmm. we do it for the industry because you also need to survive the bible does talk to you about my gift yes. yes my gift has got to make look, me eat look after you exactly yeah if if anyone has a problem with that that person is a hypocrite uh-huh. yeah they are sports people mm-hmm. it's their gift and they are getting paid for it paid for it yes so music has got to make me get paid don't say ah there's a marine there's a good there's a there's a there's a marine foot all right yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna throw you uh, uh in the loop over here or under the bus and just ask you Guti, when you look at the gospel industry in zimbabwe mm-hmm. what do you think is is what fails to get it to grow as much as it's supposed to do or grow or is it growing as is it doing as well as it's supposed to first of all there's this thing uh i think it's 
I don't know, it's in our blood as Zimbabweans. Mm. We don't support each other. Mm-hmm. We have this pulling down uh, syndrome. syndrome mm-hmm. You know, um, this applies to everyone, musicians and ev- even the people that support us. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel we have done great. Okay, let's take it from the first generation. That's your Baba Manye Ruke, your Jordan Chataika, your Brian Subalo. Mm-hmm. They did their part and they handed over to your uh, Mindre Brothers and, um, you know, uh, the Charambas. You, mm-hmm. are the you, Pastor G's. Pastor G's, yes. And, yes. Mm-hmm. and now we have your, go, uh, your what do you call it, your Zimpreis, Minister Mindre, Minister Elad, uh, Janet Manyoa, Minister take sure the and list goes, goes on, on. yes, yes. Uh-huh. um i i feel there's been growth and um what is just needed is for us as musicians to you know to come together mm-hmm. and support each other um i used to post other people's achievements you mm-hmm. know and then i realized no one is posting mine and i said wow. oh let me stop okay if only we could just come to that place where we are united as Nigerians, you know, mm-hmm. and Ghanaians. Mm-hmm. When when their their fellow artist is releasing something, they all post, they all talk about it, mm-hmm. you know. We are not supposed to compete purchase this is we are supposed to be competing in the global mm-hmm. which is bigger you know yes. nigerians are taking over because they are united like that mm-hmm. and yeah. we've got very excel, exceptional exceptionally good amazing mm. world-class gospel musicians in the country yes so you're saying what is it it comes down to why are we not going on the same stage as snatch yes why are we not being revered like snatch yes. Yolanda adams and all these people? yes yes and also um we already have people that are recognized internationally right but are we getting enough support from mm. our own house mm-hmm. you know some of the hours that i've gotten here there are serious awards and some of the places that i've ministered and performed with mm-hmm. including sinach i've been with her mm-hmm. we've ministered together mm-hmm. so i think we we really have to uh, also support globally the, the global aspect of it mm-hmm. so that we don't continuously pull each other down but musically we are doing well what we just need is let me say this. I believe um, they are listening. We need also corporates to support gospel music. Yes. Yeah, we, we don't have enough support. Mm-hmm. We need Chamvari to play our songs, mm-hmm. not just wait for Sunday. Mm-hmm. We also want enough airplay that, like, thank you all so much for playing our music. Mm-hmm. Even it's not Sunday, you know. Mm-hmm. But we don't have enough airplay as gospel musicians. Can I just say, people people have been hitting me up all day, and even on the WhatsApp number when I announced that you were coming, they're like, wow, Chamvari, I'm like, what? <laughs> but I get what you're saying. Yeah. It, it also comes down to all of us working collectively to make sure that gospel new music is also well known as big as well because it starts here at home. Sure, thank you. All right, uh, you've got one of the biggest songs that I think became the caller back ringtone for mm-hmm. a lot of phone numbers. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of that song? Momoyo. Momoyo. It's a song that we got an award for that. Mm-hmm. Mm, we are grateful. An award for what? For the most downloaded uh, Rikola ringtone. That song was big. And did you, out of all the songs that you've done, is this one of those songs that you knew were going to be a hit? Or was it a surprise to you that it became it a big hit? It was a surprise, I tell you. Uh-huh. It's, it's a song that I never listened on the album. <laughs> but I was shocked. I was like, oh. So, serious. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and so this song became very big. How did that make you feel? What do you think about this song made people fall in love with it? I think the message. Mm-hmm. The time when the song came uh, and the message in the song, like, we, we, we are bound to be complaining all the time. But we are bound to be complaining all the time. But we are bound to be complaining all If we are able to point out those things that we are bound to be complaining, imagine we are here. Mm-hmm. Look at um, the rate of death that was just there in, in winter. Mm-hmm. What, what made us to escape? Even at the beginning of the year. I, imagine. Yes. You know, right. Just to be alive. So I, I believe it's the message that we just said. Don't have to forget what God is doing for us. All right. Uh, we've got so many messages. Uh, Anzi, DJ Minister. Anzi, Minister Vataura Chokwadi Chandada. Money answers a lot of things. This is Lee Mujoa from Mulberry. Uh From Cape, Northern Cape, we have a message that's saying, Minister, I love you, all your music. It lifts my soul. Mike from Glenora says, Minister Anondi Gonera, my songs, my songs, I'm on the pins 
Munyasha, Maringa Baba Pe, Njere Nema Ziso Emwea. I love your song, Minister Inonzi Mumoyo. And there are two in the background. But before we open up the phone lines on 498652 and 498654, uh, just want a quick reminder this is brought to us by NMB Bank. And we want you to forget the month in blues with NMB Connect bill payments. Pay your rent, clothing, account, funeral policies, or insurance from the comfort of your home. It's instant and you get to share or save your digitally stamped receipts. More freedom with your money. NMB Connect offers you a solution to pay your utility bills from wherever you are without waiting in a queue. Save time and money by instantly paying bills for yourself, friends, or family on the NMB Connect app, short code star 241 hash, or NMB Connect online. Smart banking on bill payments. NMB Connect, your digital bank. So let's open up the phone line 0242 498654 and 498652. Get in touch right now and speak to Minister Michael Mahinde that we have him in the studio. All right. Uh, what if, what was what is the if you could be curator of Zimbabwean music, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you are the one who's in charge of fixing it for maybe a year. What would you fix? You said uh, we're not supporting of each other, mm-hmm. Kubatana, right? Mm-hmm. What would you add? I would advocate for support from the government Mm -hmm. where we get to have our music protected from piracy. Mm -hmm. Um, It's sort of um, uh, robbing, you know, this generation uh, whereby we don't have um, music protected. Right. And also would look into having enough funding for uh, equipment for Mm -hmm. us to use. Do you know what what we go through, you know, to bring out a production like the spore in a... The live recording, mm-hmm. we go through a lot, you know. But I would feel if there is um, a pocket that supports that for your musicians, where you know that these musicians are representing the nation, mm-hmm. they are also doing a great job in bringing happiness in your people, in the people of Zimbabwe. I would, I would, I would say we have to have that system, all right, very strong, and um, the production will change and everything will shift. All right, let's go on to the line right now. Power FM, hello. Hello, sir. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? It's my... All right, please remove your phone from speaker. We can't hear you and we're running out of time. We lost her. Power FM, hello? Hello, I can you. How are you? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm I'm calling from Nathan. All right, Mikeisha, go ahead and speak to Minister. Minister Makadi. Did you Makadi you? Oh, se bukira, bukira. It's a shoot. Um, uh, there's that branch not angongo budari green, like a tender shoot. Se bukira. It's deep shona. Yeah, because he is from Western Nigeria. That was on go. You know what I mean? Go, but you couldn't just go around visa. Power FM, hello. Hi, Jamvari. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, my name is William. Calling me from Blawai. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just blessed to hear the minister decides today. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, I, yeah we thank you so much. We, we thank you so much, uh, minister. Please keep up going. Keep up going forward. How hard it is. Keep up going. Keep on going. I appreciate. We'll keep on going. <laughs> All right. Um, what would we, what would what would it take if someone wants to be mentored by minister and maybe maybe join the UFI C choir? UFI C choir is the church choir. You can be just be part of the church. Um, uh, mentorship. Mm, that one. Um, I think you have to be serious if you want mentorship. Mm-hmm. You know, some of the things that you get from me, it's maybe. It's, something that i got for uh, over a long period of time mm-hmm. you don't just want to throw something and then no one is using it mm-hmm. but the door is open uh, you have to qualify for it mm-hmm. yeah wow thank you so much minister for coming through to the program uh we do apologize to our listeners i know you wanted more time but uh we, you know we're delayed in starting uh but before you go just last words to your fans your listener to the listeners and potential supporters <laughs> Getting Personal God 4 is coming. Mm-hmm. We are launching on the 4th of December. <gasps> Two days after my birthday, okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, um, and <laughs> the single is coming uh, on the 2nd of November. We are releasing a song called Jaringan. It's part of the project. Wow. So get ready for that. Where? And continue getting Personal God. We, we thank you so much. Uh, your social media play, pages real quickly before we go. Minister Michael Mahendere, uh, f- uh, Facebook page, Minister Mahendere, uh, Instagram, Minister Mike Mahendere 
on Twitter. Thank you so much, Minister, for coming. Subscribe to, to our YouTube channel. Yay! Thank you so much for coming, Bibi. Thank you so much as well for being with us. We will be back again next week on Tuesday. This has been Center Stage with.